Welcome to the channel Maths for Graduates. Today we will see identity theorem. So, this theorem says that if we have two functions f of z and g of z and they both are analytic in some domain d. Okay? And if we form some set S such that this set contains those elements of set D such that f of z equals to z of z. Okay? And this set has limit point in D then f of z equals to z of z for all z belongs to D that means f of z and z of z are same functions. Okay? Now, let's see a problem based on this concept. After solving the problem, you will learn this theorem more better. This question has been appeared in CSIR net December 2019 exam. In this question, we have function f from complex plane C to complex plane C and this function f is an entire function. Okay. And it is also given that f of 1 over n equals to 1 over n square and n is natural number. Okay. Then we have to check which option is correct. So, in option A, we are given no such function f exists. In option B, it is given that such an f is not unique. And in option C, f of z is z square. And in option D, f is not a polynomial function. Okay. So, let us see which option is correct. It is given that f of 1 over n equals to 1 over n square and n is natural number. Okay. Now, let us assume some another function g of z this equals to z square. Okay. Now, f of 1 over n it will be 1 over n square why because z of z is z square ok. So, from these two we can say f of 1 over n this equals to z of 1 over n when n is natural number ok. Now, if we form set S such that it contains element 1 over n ok this set contains 1 over n and n is natural number and this thing happens f of 1 over n equals to z of 1 over n and limit limit point of set s is 0 ok we know that sequence 1 over n converges to 0 ok so limit point of set s is 0 and 0 exist in complex plane C. Okay. So, from identity theorem we can say that function f of z equals to z of z for all z belongs to complex plane C and function z of z is z square. So, f of z equals to z square for all z belongs to C. Okay. Now, we can see that option C is correct. Okay. Now, this video ends here. I hope you have learned something valuable from this video. If you want to learn such more problems, then you can buy our complex and handy handwritten notes for a very reasonable price for only rupees 50. So, if you are interested, you can contact us through this WhatsApp number. Thank you. Thanks for watching.